no. Are you ready? All right, so welcome back to some more The Walking Dead season 11, man. We're on the last two episodes of this series today we're going to react to episode 23 last week was not episode 23 <laughs> okay so this week is episode i think i got confused because i looked at the screen and i saw the title of the last episode before the one last week was outpost 22 so i i saw that and i thought we were on 23 last week <laughs> so that was crazy so i do apologize for misleading anybody if they were misleaded <laughs> misleaded misled <laughs> okay i do apologize yes i have cut off my beard yes i decided to do that because not because it was bugging me is because i wanted to grow it back grow it a little better um than it was um the way it was so yeah not that you care but anyways the last two episodes of the series i spoke said what i had to say about the last episode um happy that mercer has come around but i didn't like how it was executed but i guess you know um a, a lot of people that watch tv shows are in the business of filling in the blanks i'm not in the business of filling in the blanks okay <laughs> like i i just i don't like when tv shows do that i like when tv shows have continuity it's something that i actually judge most of what i watch on is continuity there are things gonna be left that you're gonna be left out of the loop with understandably because it's you know if you're writing that genre of shows as in right now where i'm watching lost where there's a lot of mystery going on a lot of questions but you are in the in the you know the early stages of you know things being set up finding certain things out but still leaving things some things out we're in the last episode last three episodes last two episodes of the walking dead there should be continuity you should give us some indication some people were saying you know it was pretty obvious that mercer was changing his mind or he was thinking about this in the background because they kept focusing the camera on him when Eugene was making his speech. And, and I'm just like, that's not continuity. That's not giving context as to what's going to happen. There's no content. There's no indication of what he was going to do. None, no indication. Whether, whether you want to say the camera was focused on him. Yes. I know the speech was in some ways towards him but you should have had there, there should have been something you get what i'm saying that leads up to that moment you know what i'm saying or maybe he had something brewing in the background that he didn't want to talk about or he was doing it in his own way some indication you know maybe in the background have him talking to somebody or something like that and we don't know why he was talking to that somebody or something like that i was just looking for some sort of continuity it just seemed to me a little abrupt that's all i'm not saying it was bad or i'm not here for it or anything like that that's just all i wanted to say about the whole mercer situation right um i just felt like continuity is very needed at this point in the walking dead meaning they need to be following we need to be seeing everything we can't there's no reason to have surprises at this moment except for maybe an old character coming back or something like that there's you know what i'm saying with the last few episodes here but either way it is what it is mercer is on the team let's see what the plan is or what he planning to do to take down the commonwealth all right so let's jump into it if you guys are awesome enough to check out the patreon <laughs> <laughs> if you're awesome enough to check out the patreon you love my my comments whatever you love my reactions and stuff like that go check out the patreon man we're reacting to a lot of stuff over there um, a lot of early access um stuff over there that 
might have a general and you can join as well and suggest the show and it'll go to the top of the list so you can go check that out anyways guys thank you guys so much let's jump into the episode and i will see you guys at the end for the review Why do they have Julia narrating and we'd all live together in peace? My mom Michonne tried to hang up her sword. Any thoughts on how you're planning to do this? Do what? Take out the bitch. Pamela? But as far as I'm concerned, none of us are safe as long as she's still breathing. I'm assuming you agree. Together, you and I, we get this done. We don't need the others. Not a we. We still throwing unnecessary shade towards Negan. <laughs> Yeah. I'm coming. No. Nah. But I need you here. This isn't the future my brother wanted. Not what my mom and dad fought for. Not yet. What we're doing could help everyone. I want to be part of that. To make what my family believed in real. All right. But you stay right with me, okay? Thanks to your brother. Why didn't you tell us? I'm safer for all of you. You've joined a long line of people who've saved my ass through the years. I will never forget. Okay, so what next? First, I need to gather enough troops willing to make a move on Pamela. But if you and Max can keep the public fired up, it may give us enough cover to put things in place. But how can I best assist? By staying here, out of sight. I'm sorry, sir. We're out of time. Rosie, don't see him at the moment. Incompetence. So you're telling me you have no idea how Porter got away? No, ma'am. Clearly he had help. Clearly? It'll take some time to narrow down a suspect list. There have been reports of people going missing in the Commonwealth for a while. We don't have many answers, but maybe this time we get lucky. Keep an eye on him. I want a door-to-door -door search for Porter. If he's found, shoot him on sight. Yes, ma'am. In the crowd. Like that, Pamela? Would you like Damn. us to try to disperse? No. We'll find some bones to throw them. If things escalate, options are in place to deal with it. Why? I never thanked you. Why'd you do it? A lot of reasons. You living. Making something positive out of your days, now that. That's hard. Gotta keep me from giving in to anger. I don't wanna live out whatever days I got left in bitterness. Exactly. You know? Nobody should want that because it's just like. I'm not even supposed to be here, man. So. So why'd you tell the warden your name instead of mine? Believe a better story about me than the one you've been telling. That when it mattered, I did something right. And it wasn't to prove anything. It wasn't to get anything in return. Hell, it wasn't even to save my own ass. It was to save all you. Amen, brother. Amen. You all are better than me. You there? Yeah. You all right? I'm fine. How's your you? Safe for now. Where are you? On a train. Headed back to you. Change things. Take Pamela down. Think you'd be okay with that?
Yeah. All right. If you can get those prisoners back to me, they're witnesses. I have legal grounds to remove Pamela. Old access tunnel under the west wall leads up into Union Station. Industrial building, basement entrance guarded, but I can meet you there. There's a swarm approaching from the east. approaching the city, we're being sent out to divert it. This is exactly what Pamela did before. She used a swarm as an excuse to clear the streets. How? I don't know. Should we just wait for you to deal with the swarm and the lockdown? If we're lucky. My girlfriend is coming back. And she's bringing her friends with I was supposed to go meet them myself. But if I can get them in, you and Yuma will have to go meet them in Union Station. Eagles ready to roll, General. I don't care. Dude! I, stop! I can't lose him, please. He's gonna lose you. You understand? Yeah, you we'll need to cut your arm off. As as <laughs> but you know what we gotta do. Bruh, imagine you gotta cut your arm off with no anesthetic. <laughs> Make sure it's one goal, bruh. Okay. Are you already clutching your pearls, girl? Come in. Anything yet? No, ma'am. Saw his sister, then reported to the wall. Where did he take them from? Sector 7, processing in Tunnel H. Did you want me to recall any of those troops? No. I'm sure Mercer has his reasons. All units fall back now. Fall back. Regroup on me. Armor up. Heavy ammo. Once the others regroup, we roll out and knock the hell out of this thing before it gets to our city. I have the right to enter this fort. <laughs> She must be in so much pain, bruh. No, 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 we don't leave them. We don't leave them, Jay. They need us. You do get that arm with that. We'll meet up later. You sure? Yeah. We find them. Find you. Piece of copper. Keep them. Pamela is gonna meet them. She figured. Come on, guys, we're almost there. Get down! <laughs> We've already lost contact with Echo and Theta. Michael Mercer, you're under arrest for treason by order of Governor Milton. Any resistance will be met with life in prison or death. I'll go. But you need to fortify the city's defenses before the swarm reaches the perimeter. The governor insists that the walls will hold. There's something going on out there, Vickers. You gotta listen to me. This is bigger than Pamela's bullshit. Stop the dead before it's too late. No. Try to help them. No, 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 no. Wake up, dude. We gotta go. Oh, 
so it's our fault Take why you just out. killed a child? gonna tell Rick when you see him again <sighs> was really I was not on board with bringing Judith here man uh, at the beginning at the beginning I was I was saying why the hell do they have Judith narrating all of these beginnings to the episodes I was wondering why do they have Judith narrating I, I don't I think I said it at the beginning of the episode. It's like, why do they have Judith narrating all of these episodes? If I didn't say it, I was think I was thinking it. Bro. Where the hell's our backup? We need every available trooper at the east gate now. Cross, they're climbing the wall. Now at the east gate, the rotters are climbing. I repeat, the rotters are climbing the wall. Oh, shit. That man is having a feast. Well, the walls are old, right? Governor, the perimeter's been breached. Section F is overrun with rotters. We've lost 15 troopers, more civilians. I don't understand. The dead are in the Commonwealth, Governor. That's not possible. They are climbing the walls. They are flooding in. They are flooding in. We'll pull our forces back to the estates. Ma'am. Place additional troops at my home and secure the surrounding area. Divert the swarm towards the lower wards. That will buy you time to gather essential personnel. Well, there you go. There's your governor. Unprotected. That Here's your governor. We protect the estates. Yeah, protect the rich people. <laughs> Fall back! You're not following us. Wait! What is that? The pin in the fin! Bruh. What the fuck? <laughs> we have evolved. Cut him off! We got that alley! Clear path! But like the the pretty much the entire ending episodes, these eight episodes that leading up to the end, right? It's only one episode left. I've been saying who's going to die? Which one of our main characters are going to die? And never once did I even think that any of the kids would be one of those you know what i'm saying we're not out of the woods yet we're not out of the woods yet i'm not saying she is dead we're not out of the woods yet you know what i'm saying because you know what i'm saying she's still alive daryl is carrying her and i don't know what's gonna happen man hopefully she does survive because jesus christ I mean, <laughs> this fucking, it would make a lot of sense if they're planning to bring back, if they're planning to bring back Rick or Michonne in the final episode, it would make sense that Judith is the one that gets hurt because it, it, it can, it, it gives them a way to bring the character back into the mix without it, you know, let it flow a little bit better. Um, from a narrative standpoint, um, I mean, it could, they don't have to come back. You get what I'm saying? They don't have to, you know what I'm saying? They could end the series and it wouldn't matter, period. 
but at the end of the day from from what i can see here and just j just looking at what's happening <laughs> i don't even want to say this in my review because i don't want to speak it into existence if you will yeah you know i'm saying i i think judith is going to die i think she's going to die because they asked there has to be what well, does it doesn't have to be but i feel like she's <laughs> no matter how you want it, no matter how i want to split it it does make sense narratively it does make sense i would understand the choice you get what i'm saying i would definitely understand the choice i wouldn't be salty about it you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to happen, but at the same time, I would understand if if it does happen and Rick and Michonne comes back in the final episode, I totally get it. But if they don't come back and she dies anyway, then I'm going to have a problem with it because I'm going to be like, why did you kill Judy? Could have killed so many other characters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's so many other characters being be in the chopping block. It didn't need to be Judith. It didn't need to be her. I think she's I think they're gonna kill her character man. I think they're gonna kill her character and I and I'm not happy about it I'm not happy about it but I will understand it if Rick or Michonne comes back in the final episode <sighs> I don't know what to say this episode was very intense I didn't say much it was an intense episode of just the seeing development of everything and to know that Pamela is the one that shot Judith. I mean, she was trying to shoot Maggie and Judith pushed Maggie out of the way, which I don't even know why she's doing that. But, you know, that's what they gave her to do. <sighs> Everybody's back together. Eugene is with them. Everybody's back together. They're f trying to fight off this swarm because of Pamela and his stupidity. Oh, I was just trying to do a lockdown, but you arrested the one man that was keeping everything in control because you consider it treason because you think that they, they let in those guys. Well, he did. <sighs> I'm finding it really hard to find words right now because I'm hurt by this. I really am hurt by this because this is a character that i've come to very much know and love you know what i'm saying as in we've seen her in the show since she was a baby man like we saw her 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 birth but we didn't see her birth but we know where she was born you know we saw the toll on rick when when um when um what what was her what was her name again laura it was some L name. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Was it? I think it was Laura. Laura? I think it was Laura. Lori? Lori! Lori! Lori. That was her name. <laughs> Lori. We saw how one of the best performance that I've seen on TV of somebody breaking down. We saw what happened to Rick when we found out that um, that that Lori was dead because she died during childbirth because essentially um you know what i'm saying carl had to cut judith out of her belly you know what i'm saying and uh, you know she died on the spot carl had to do what he had to do this was a very intense episode i was watching i was like what's gonna happen and i feel like something is gonna happen that i don't like just the build up of the episode it just felt that way um so yeah man shout out to mercer mercer came through making big plans getting eugene out you know what i'm saying and you know getting even extra support as well as like hey if you you guys are witnesses to this imprisonment and stuff like that you know this unlawful imprisonment and stuff like that for people that they don't like or going against the commonwealth or whatever i uh, created all these no offense really put them to manual labor and all this other stuff right and 
essentially if they come there they can be witnesses so they, so he can push pamela out and that didn't turn out to be good you know what i'm saying it didn't turn out to be good at all because they essentially got caught before because pamela was prepared and i was like no she knows something and then she prepared the trap for them um this was an insane episode. Probably the one of the best episodes of the series. Just to build up the way how everything, one thing led to the next, to the next, to the next. The conversations earlier in the in in the episodes as well, um, especially the one between Ezekiel and and um and Negan. Also Maggie hearing that conversation as well, and I love what Negan said. You know what I'm saying? I love what he said. It's like at, even Ezekiel as well as like you know that's pretty much all we have like i don't want to live out the rest of my days being bitter right being bitter and that's what i'm trying to say like it's time for them to let this shit go it happened a long time ago you know what i'm saying it's time man to to um get over it if you will but i don't want to say get over it as i said at least you are seeing the person in real time making efforts to change it is time for you to let the shit go. You can't just keep pushing somebody down constantly because of their past mistakes and they're trying to rise above it. Like you, you can't keep doing that. They're not the same person. People change. People do deserve to have second chances. So I was glad that conversation was had and I'm glad that Maggie heard it as well because he, even she can realize that Negan is just not the same person that they met at the end of season six it's just not the, it's just not the same person and you know i've told you guys time and time again i love the fact that's why negan has become one of my favorite characters because they gave him a redemption arc this was one of the most villainous person in the entire series that we got to see him we we got to see the worst of him and now we're getting to see the best of him you get what i'm saying so in my opinion he's one of the, he's he get um he has had one of the most interesting character arcs in the entire series of of the walking dead some people might disagree some people might agree either way i said what i said um but i like how everything is coming together and we have one final episode i don't know if it's going to be a full one hour finale but hopefully it is hopefully they give them a good enough time if it's not another 40 minute episode it, this needs to be an uninterrupted one hour full episode of the walking dead this is the walking dead is you know what i'm saying it's gonna go down as one of one of the best shows in tv in my opinion it may not be in your top 10 you no know, a lot of people have stopped watching the show because of you know it's some people say it's too repetitive you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to be talking about all of that next weekend when I finish watching the show. I will be doing a full review of the entire series and tell you where it falls. Because The Walking Dead currently is not in my top 10 TV shows of all time. It's not. It's not. But it's still, in my regard, one of the best TV shows that I've watched from start to finish. No doubt. Um, I think some of the seasons you know i think the majority of the seasons was done very well some of them were were very mediocre um but you you can't doubt it that it's been quite a journey and it's definitely worth a watch i would definitely recommend the walking dead you know what i'm saying and to people to stick with it i've had people on this channel that came back to the show because i was reacting to it and you know because of my understanding of it and what i was saying in my reviews they tell me in the comment section it's like bro you brought me back to the walking dead man i didn't think i would come back you know to the show because i stopped watching it so it's been an amazing journey one more episode to go i think judith is going to die but i don't want her to um but you know if rick comes back great if michonne comes back great I'm going to be happy to see them, but I think this TV, I think this TV show is not there to leave a great taste in your mouth after. I think we're, I think this is going to be very melancholy at the end. And I don't think we're going to be like, yes, awesome. 
you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i don't think it's gonna be yes that you know what i'm saying great moments at the end i think it's gonna be a very like tragic ending to the story and i think you know what i'm saying they're still gonna have their greatest enemy to deal with and that is the dead so it's like you know are they gonna live better are they gonna be better pamela has definitely written her you know what i'm saying she's definitely prepared to die prepared to die because you you are gonna get this work i don't know maybe she gets speared maybe she gets speared like how negan was speared i don't know i, I me personally don't want her to be speared i think she I, at this point you get what i'm saying at this point um in the story it's better to just well then again she could be just arrested i guess but i think people are gonna be so angry at this whole thing that they're probably gonna offer but it is what it is it is what it is i'll leave it at that um if she dies she dies if she does if they spare her they spare her uh, but at the end of the day um you know you know some pe pe people are saying that you know even um what's his name hornsby was a better villain and stuff like that um, in my opinion, none of them really were great villains, if if you want to put it like that. Um, I don't think Pamela or Hornsey but was great video villains. I think they were very cookie cutter, if you call it that. Negan was a great villain. The governor from from part three was a good villain because it was those so many things that they did that were so unexpected. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, they 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 just they stood out a lot more as being villainous negan being the best villain ever in the history of the walking dead in my opinion because he just did stuff that was like yo what is happening right now like so many times during that arc i was like what is happening like but <laughs> we, we planning to kill the whole cast like <laughs> what's good you know what I mean? So it was in, it, very interesting, very interesting. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they're going to do um, for this final episode, man. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment. I'm a little worried going into it, but I will survive. <laughs> I will survive. Man, oh man. I'll see you guys next week, man. I'm out. Peace.